What is up guys, Cliff101 here and today I am bringing you the how to get beta at a low level relatively easily. Uh, now keep in mind this is the setup that I'm showing you so everyone, everything that is on your screen right now should be pretty much the setup that you, you are running before you go into battle against the Midgar Zolom. Now this actually took me <laughs> about 15 attempts on about my 12th attempt I got frustrated gave up and just continued with the story went all the way up to June on turned around came back and decided no I've got to do it I've got to be able to show you guys so you'll see here that I'm a, just a slightly higher level than what I am when we come back to the game videos after this uh, so I mean this would be a, a, a good level to be at if you're going to be taking it on because it just gives you that little bit of a health buffer now you're going to see here this is the first attempt of my later attempts to try and do it and this is a fail now with the Midgar Zolom there are a few key things to take into an account that you can manipulate on on who he throws out of the battle and when he uses beta and so on and so forth I've tried to do it and it didn't work within this particular one. In fact, the Midgazolum did something completely wrong that he just never does. To be flicked out of the battle, the person, the last person that attacks him when his health drops below about 2000 HP, he'll flick out of the battle. You'll notice no one attacks him here, but he just kind of decides to do it anyway. So. <laughs> and the person that he flicked out was the person that has all of the buffs on and everything that we need to keep him and it stuffs up the rest of the battle which you'll see in this funny fast motion clip listen to that music <laughs> but it, it, it just stuffs up the rest of the attempt um, so instead of killing off my party members I choose to just kill them mid Gazolum. That way I don't have to waste Phoenix Downs and everything. And the way that I kill him is just by keeping my health up and letting Poison do all the damage. Once he's within a certain amount of HP, I can use my Limit Break and just finish him off. So if you do ever find yourself within a corner that you can't, that, that, that something has gone wrong and it's just not going to work, kill the mid Gazolum instead. Okay, so within the first part, um, of the game when we first got elemental I said that fire and elemental on armor would come up later is very important and this is why the reason we want to get this enemy skill is because it is super super powerful for where we are at in the game on average you can do roughly a thousand damage to every enemy in one hit that's massive damage for where we are in the game and that's why we want it so we want to put some tranquilizers on, huge for buffing up our defense. Everyone's in the back row and we've got our materia setups ready to go as well. This is the attempt that we're going to go through. So our first thing that we want to do is poison Midgazolum. We get poison on Midgazolum and it, it, it just whittles away his health down, 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 down. And I don't have to worry about where he's at. Now I use a sense on here and I bring up that bar just above my battle bar by pressing, depending on what you're playing on, on the PlayStation 4, it's the touchpad. On the old PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 3, it was the select button. Okay, now all I want to do with um, Barrett is defend. I want Aerith to be my healer. So you'll see there, it's not even 100 damage while I'm in back row, tranquilizer on, and also defending. So, and I've just got Cloud just pumping out some damage, pumping out as much damage as he can do. I've got limit breaks in reserve for if I need them. I want to keep Barrett's limit break there. And I'll come up and, I, and I'll let you know why later. And I've just got Aerith there just in case I need it. Now once he comes down to 3000 HP, he'll stand up there. So if you haven't got sense, you'll know roughly about where he's at at the moment. But he'll only stand up if you're attacking him. So the damage that Poison is doing right now is only going to be doing damage. It's not going to be affecting or manipulating 
what the mid Gazolam is doing. You've got to have someone to be able to attack at least, and that's what Cloud is doing. So I want Cloud to be kicked out of the battle, and I do that by def by attacking at key moments soon. It's down to 2400 HP. That's fine. Just keep damaging. Just keep. Just keep smashing him a bit, and once he comes up to that 2000, that's where the strategy starts to come in place properly. Now I want to make sure Barrett is as high health as he possibly can be, because when Bader is used, he's still going to take a fair amount of damage. Alright, so we're coming down to the 2000 mark now. 2000 has been done, Cloud's attacked, and he's just been taken out of the battle. Now, I don't want to attack for some time. I want his health to be taken down, taken down, taken down. And when it comes up to around about 800-ish HP, that's where I want to get Beta to be used. So Beta is used when someone attacks him after someone's been flicked out of the battle. Okay, so timing is key here. You've got to make sure that Barret is at full health. Very, very important, okay? So it's coming down after every turn, whether it's enemy's turn, my turn, whatever the case might be, 125 is going to come off of the Midgar Zolom. So it's coming down, it's coming down. It's probably about, it's close to being about time. I'm thinking right now in my head how much damage it takes. So I'm taking into account 125 plus my fire plus a limit break. Is it going to be enough to take him down? when Barrett's near on dead, and it's not going to be right here. So I just back off a little bit, just a tiny little bit. I'm gonna get Aerith to heal again, and now I'm gonna go in for an attack. Oh, I don't even get a heal. Do I go in for an attack now? I'm, again, I'm working it out of my head, how much HP he's got, and how much damage I can deal quickly. I'm still figuring it out of my head, apparently. I've already recorded this, so this is not a live recording. <laughs> it's taking a while, and I, I reckon I'm in with a shot, so I take the risk. You're about to see just how much damage Beta does, and this is with all the defensive buffs, mind you. Okay? Bang! 422 damage. Now I know Barrett can take another attack, because after Beta is used, he the Midgar Zolom will attack again. He uses a counter-attack in doing that. Okay, I've got enough health to play around with now. Now, I can take him down. One big shot. Bang. Now, the reason that you have to be able to kill Midgar Zolom is you cannot be thrown out of the battle or die. I mean, it still comes up and says you have learned beta, but it doesn't let you keep it. So, congratulations. If you followed those steps correctly, like I didn't a lot, you will now see this within your enemy skills. Thanks guys for watching. I'm Cliff101. You have a good day. Bye.